Welcome friends to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to be looking at a 3D flip card using CSS and CSS Grid. Uh, now if you're not up to date with CSS Grid, uh, which we'll be using in this, I've got a video here that you can look to first. Uh, otherwise, let's jump in. Uh, now, the first thing I want to create is a container that will apply the 3D um, details to. And then in there, we'll also have another container um, called card, which will have a front and back faces of our card. Um, so there's card, and in there we'll have a front, front, and then also a back. Okay, so those two are appearing here now. Um, let's style those so that they can be distinguished. We'll give them a different background color. Uh, so the front we have orange, and then on the back, we shall just have blue. Okay, uh, let's try and make them look more like a card. So we'll just give them a size width 200. To 50 and then border just to smooth out the edges. Okay, so we've got two cards, we've got a front and a back. Obviously, we need to take those two and overlay them. You could use position absolute. Um, I like to use CSS grid nowadays. So on our card. We can say display and grid, and then set up a grid template areas that we'll call overlap, overlap, and place both the front and the back of the card into that area. So grid area. Um, overlap so that should place them there okay so we can see the back at the moment uh, let's try and just get that text into the middle um, display flex is always good to center things just by content center and align item center okay that brings our text down in there um, if we we're seeing the back at moments because it's first so let's let's just move the back above so then we see the front which looks a bit better. Um, now let's try and set up our three D aspect here. Um, so this starts at our outermost container where we need to say. Um, perspective and give it a distance. Um, so you just need to play around with that value. About 800 is good. It's trying to say how far you are away from the item, which will affect how much the 3D effect looks. Um, so the bigger that number, the less 3D is going to look. Um, okay, and then on the card, there's a couple of things we want to put on here. We need a transform style of preserve 3D. So this specifies that the direct children of that card will all work in a 3D space, which will allow us to get this, uh, this rotation going. Um, so currently we've got a front and a back and an overlaid. What we need is to get this back card rotated around so it's facing away. So on our back, we'll do a transform and rotate Y 180 degrees. So we're not going to see anything from that just yet, but that back card is now um, facing away from us. Um, OK, 
Okay. So let's, let's just put a, put a couple of buttons on here so we can action the flip. So on click, flip. And we'll take a copy of that. So we'll have a flip and a flip. So, and then we're going to need a little bit of JavaScript to handle those. Function flip. Um, we'll get the card element. So we want dot card, and on that we will add a new class to, to flip it. Um, so let's add flip. And we'll do very similar for the unflip flip back. And then we'll just remove that class. Okay, so we'll probably get rid of that. Um, in here, we would then create a flip that would do transform Andrew Tate Y 180 degrees. So Currently, we've got the two cards, we've rotated the back and overlaid it. When we apply the flip, it will apply to both cards. So you'll get this effect happening. The back will come and face us, um, and the front will be at the back. So uh, let's just see what happens. Okay, it's flying across because our container is not the same size. So let's do a width 200 height. 50. You should see now it is flipping. Uh, there's one other thing to enable the 3D effect here. Um, we can still only see the front. We need to say um, back face visibility. Let's go onto here and we say back face visibility hidden. And that will um, ensure that when we flip, the um, so curl on there. The back is shown, so we can see back here now. If I flip back, we get front. Okay, so it's flipping back and forth. Let's animate that now, so it's not just one step. Uh, so on our card again, let's add a transition. So when there's three parameters here, we need to say how long it lasts for per second what properties is going to check that are changing just we'll say all um, and then how the animation will occur ease in and out just looks, looks quite nice um, so if i flip now we can see it's going back and forth and you can see the 3d effect there and it's coming down over the cards um, so yeah there you go that's how you put together a uh, 3D flip card in CSS. I'll upload a link to this code pen um, in the description below. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.